Hello and welcome to Austin FC on Football Manager 21 Beta. This is episode 5 and in today's episode we're going to be looking at some set pieces. Now while you have been away, I have been busy. We have signed plenty of players. Let's put them in position order. In goal we've got Klinsman and then we've got Angel Nava on a trial at the minute. Not sure if he's going to be converted into a squad member. We've signed in defence Ashley Williams, a former Welsh international for many years at Swansea, played for Stockport County earlier in his career. Guadeloupe is a 16 year old Peruvian. Edward Clifford is a young American defender. We've got Dave Romney from the expansion draft as well as Jeff Laurentowicz. Cesar Lopez is a 20 year old Honduran. Bakary Sanya available on a free transfer following his release by Vancouver Whitecaps or Montreal Impact. It's one of the two and I forget which one. It was Montreal Impact. We have Hernan Villalba in defensive midfield. Paredes and Moreno, they came from the expansion draft. Dominguez and Redes already were at the club. They were out on loan in Paraguay. They've now returned. Serginho is a young winger from Orlando City. Um, he was available and we snapped him up for a pretty reasonable fee of 185k. I think he's got something about him and could develop into a very good player. Uh, he'll serve as backup really for the two Paraguayan boys on the wing. Up front we have signed Brazilian Andre Lima. Uh, now he has been in the USA with I think a lower league club, uh, Austin Bold, but prior to that he was in Brazil and in China with Beijing. So quite a long career, quite a lot of clubs. Spent time with Hertha in Germany. Uh, I did like the fact that he's just scored 100 goals. Uh, that's uh, That sold it for me. Very experienced. I think he'll see us through uh, the first, at least first half of our season. Ben Feely is a 20 year old youngster. Uh, there is young Ben. Uh, not brilliant stats, but dribbling of 15, finishing of 15, work rate of 14. I think there's something there that we can probably develop. We are still in for a host of players as well. So you'll notice Freddie Adu on the shortlist there. He's staying. Kenny Lopez and uh, sorry, Kenny Lopez is on the super draft. So he'll come up there. He's a goalkeeper. I mean, 18 eccentricity, but 16 determination. I think he looks pretty good, but I'm not sure whether we're going to sign either him or uh, Andre Lima. Can I compare the two? Uh, sorry, Andre Lima, Angel Nava. In this instance, yeah, it is showing that Kenny Lopez is better. But if we can highlight key attributes for a role of a sweeper keeper on support. So in that instance, oh, it's fairly even, isn't it? Physicals go into Lopez. Something to consider. Adam Cresswell is available as well. Uh, I don't know a lot about him, though. We have made an offer for him, uh, which is a bit presumptuous of us. Uh, in other moves, I am trying to sign Dom Dwyer. I'm desperate to sign him, really, from Orlando City, because I think he could be the spearhead to our attack, hopefully. I've gone in for Lewis Miller from Liverpool on loan. I don't know if we're going to be able to sign him, because we've kind of used up all our international slots. Although, if we get a few uh, more senior players, then those uh, youngsters that we talked about before, uh, the likes of uh, Guadeloupe and Cesar Lopez, uh, even Serginho, to be honest, might drop down to our uh, development squad and thus not take up an international slot. One of the rules about the MLS is the registration. And as you can see, we're already at our maximum of eight internationals. So, I don't know what the answer is. Maybe it's worth shopping around for another international slot. 
seeing if we can get one. We haven't signed any designated players simply because not many are interested, if I'm honest. It's really difficult to sign one and I'm sort of quite happy with the balance of the squad. I don't want anybody on massive wages uh, compared to everybody else. If we look at our general wages, they're sort of between 1 and 3k, really. The only two that are on more are the two that are already here. So I've been quite frugal. Uh, seems not everybody shares my uh, fondness for balancing the books. And I still have this issue of the, the wage budget being a lot less than it should be. I don't know whether we should start moving that transfer over, but it's not going to make a difference. We're still spending 38 to 36 grand a week. Um, but we should have that. It should be there for us. So maybe that'll kick in when the season starts. We are just a few days away from our first game, uh, which is a friendly against Nashville. Uh, that will take place uh, on Monday the 11th of January. It's currently the 7th in game. Uh, tomorrow will be the Super Draft, so do look out for that. But first, we're going to create a set-piece routine uh, in our attacking uh, sense. So, as you can see, players have been dropped into the squad here, uh, into the starting eleven. And we've also had a quick look at our set piece takers. We've not got a great amount of them, to be honest. So if one does come up in the super draft, um, I may go for him. There is a young player called Grant. I think it's... Ah, here he is. Now, he is a potential, but he plays an attacking midfielder. I don't know if that's a place uh, that we're going to fill, really. I do want a uh, backup in central midfield and as a goalkeeper. If we can sign Lopez, because uh, we've got first draft pick here, so we can pretty much run the table. Uh, the majority of the bit of good players that are going to be available, I'll talk about this more in depth tomorrow, are defenders. and We just don't need them. We've got plenty, and I feel like we're well covered in that department. If you think about, uh, just go back to our positions, you know, over half the squad there, I think, are defenders. If you go from Williams right the way down to Sanya, eight players uh, to cover four starting positions. Uh, and then you've got the likes of Laurentovic, who can play in defensive midfield. Uh, he's not uh, unheard of to start there. But I am quite content in our starting lineup. I, it's players around the edges that we're going to be adding. Anyway, set pieces. Corners is what we're going for. So we're going to look at some attacking corner routines. Uh, this is going to involve me clicking away at the uh, at the mouse here. So hopefully it doesn't pick up too much. Now, the best way to do this is we are going to select an in swinger. So just let me go back to see who we selected for our uh, set piece takers. So corners on the right was Cesar Lopez. Right, I'm going to have to... Uh, find a place for him in the team right actually let's put dave romney there for a sec here we go so his instruction we're going to go from the right and we're going to go near post with this one annoyingly he's doing an out swinger i kind of want an in swinger on that one so let me just move somebody around let's take romney out for a sec and bring in Cesar Lopez. In fact, he's the one that the club want me to, uh, the staff want me to select. So, Cesar Lopez down there, he is the corner taker. He's going to aim for the near post. And what we're going to do is we're going to fill up the bases just here. We're going to have Laurentowicz attacking the near post. I do have a quick look at these stats, just the important attributes. I do like somebody like. Ashley Williams. Let's have him near post. There we go. What we're going to do is we're going to set up our squad. It's only in certain positions you can select, which I always find a little bit odd. But anyway, two players that are going to stay back is currently Bakri Sanya and Christian Paredes. We have one player left outside the area, that's Junior Moreno at the moment, but I suspect may change. In fact, 
Bakusanya is not too bad at the old heading game. Whereas Hernan Villalba, not. So, there you go. I'm actually, uh, if it was possible, can I split these around? No, I can't. Ideally, I'd like coverage a little bit further uh, out. Don't want the goalkeeper going forward. Mark the keeper. Definitely not. You stay where you are. Uh, he's been going to be told to stay back. Not messing him out there. So we're also going to move this chap there. Oh, that I do like. So we've got three players going forward. But I'm going to offer a short option. So in fact, I'm just going to change things around here. Bakri Sanya outside the box, is that the best use of him? Probably not, in fact. Valalba's not too bad there, so... Long shots of 11. He's got the best long shot in the team. Can't tell. Could be Sanya. Nah, 8. We're going to leave him there. Lurking outside the area, Villalba. So, where were we? My apologies. I do sort of get... Uh... Is that the instruction? No. Okay, it's a positional thing. Here we are. Mm -hmm. Heading of 11. Or Sanya's heading. Yeah, 14. That's staying there. Heading, heading. Boom. That's our setup. So, symmetrical setup here. We've got three going in on goal, and then we've got two uh, sets go forward. A lurker outside the box. The short option, uh, which is a bit of a fake option, in this case, is Junior Moreno. The idea is that he will then drag uh, somebody outside the box and just create a bit of space here at the near post for Ashley Williams. That's certainly the intention. Big on bravery, big on heading, 15 strength. I'm expecting some goals from him. That's what we're going to set up for on the right. Do feel free to pause the game here, uh, pause the video, just so that you can have a quick uh, copy down of anything that you like the look of there. I'm quite pleased with that one. From the left uh, now, we are going to go uh, this time, the six yard box going a bit further. And this one, we're going to load up the front post area. So let's move our players around. So we've got our two full backs staying back at the minute. That's fine. We've got one player lurking outside the box. I'm actually going to put him down there just so that he comes in and attacks the ball from the edge of the area. Uh, we've also got plenty of players just here. We're really making it difficult for our opposition. And that is a bit of a change, isn't it? We also, do we want somebody to come short? I might get, him, get rid of him there. That's what I'm going to do. So, in this instance, we're going for the six yard box. So, that's a bit more. Uh, further into the middle and then we've got a player marking the keeper again but this time we've got somebody at the near post somebody going forward at the near post and then we've got a player at the uh, back post so in this case Andre Lima just mopping things up in fact we are going to just move things around a little bit so Hector Moreno Hector Moreno Junior Moreno is uh, not brilliant at that is he so I might just move him back. Sandy can stay where he is actually, I don't want to affect that. But if I just swap those around, does it make any difference whatsoever? No. Yes, I am quite happy with this. Despite all these mouse clicks, I might try to see your grandma out to send an email yeah? So, in swingo again, six yard box. This time we've loaded up the front post because generally that's where it lands. 
uh, where we've, we've we had one player attacking the near post last time. This time there's quite a lot in there, and there's a sweeper at the back post just here. It, it's Rodney Redes just to uh, sweep anything up that comes through to him. This time we've also got a man attacking from the edge of the box, so that is going to be Junior Moreno. Let's see if he can get in there, cause a bit of havoc. So do pause this again if you like the look of it. Absolutely, steal away, use it in your game, see how it works. I had a lot of success in Football Manager 20 with AFC Fylde. They scored loads and loads of corner goals. Don't know if that was a common theme for everybody, but it certainly was for ourselves. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our set pieces. Join me tomorrow for when uh, we go into the Super Draft. So the Super Draft, as I talked about uh, yesterday, I believe, it's really interesting prospect. Uh, basically, the college standouts, the play academy players coming through from uh, the education system, they get uh, put into a big room and clubs get to pick uh, who they want based on their draft allocation uh, position. So for us, for example, in the upcoming draft, we are top of the shops. Uh, we are draft allocation, we are first pick in the first round. We're then first pick in the second round, first pick in the third, first pick in the fourth. So as an expansion club, again, it's another measure. So we talked about with the expansion draft, how it's there to help clubs get a bit of a leg up. So is this. This will mean that I am uh, the person who can make the first pick. Now there was, uh, if I can find it, uh, an item that uh, basically predicted how the draft was going to go. So that is always quite an interesting one. You often get these reports, the showcase, uh, this tells you basically uh, how people are doing on a daily basis and you see players get added onto the list, get taken off. Um, it's really interesting. In terms of the mock draft, uh, Dauda Taiore was uh, the number one pick for ourselves. Uh, there he is, a central defender uh, at the Flint City Bucks. Uh, I think it's uh, he looks pretty good. Uh, the problem is we are well catered for in defence. And that sort of led me to not really uh, look any closer at him. Carlos Mendoza has been touted as a big prospect. Look at that tackling, 16, bravery, 16. So he's certainly going to be somebody that all the clubs are looking at, wanted by Chicago and Portland already. And then Kenny Lopez, who's the player that we were looking at uh, in terms of goalkeeper, there he was. So he got drafted. Uh, he's at Oakland County at the minute. He got drafted uh, for uh, Orlando City in six. So interesting. One of the players that was pointed out weeks and weeks ago was this guy, Benji Kikinovic. Uh, unfortunately, not great stats. So I'm not sure where that uh, connection came from. But uh, tomorrow is the expansion draft. Join me for that and I'll see you then.